Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video book review on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and it's been a little while since we've done one of these, but the book I have today is the newest entry in the Vickers Guide series. This is Heckler & Koch Volume 1, specifically dedicated to all of HK's pistols. And what really impressed me about this book is that the Vickers Guide series is purports to be a series of coffee table books, and that's definitely the way they started. The photography is phenomenal. All the photography was done by James Rupley, and it's beautiful. That's why the book is large format, to really exploit the beautiful photography in it. And the Vickers Guide books from the very beginning have had some good insightful commentary in them, but they started as mostly commentary. You know, some facts here and there, some commentary, a little bit of flavor to go with the photos. And it seems to me that the series has been progressing slowly away from just plain coffee table towards like referenceable research book territory, and this is a particularly good example of that. So uh, the text side of the book was co-authored by Larry Vickers, of course, and James Williamson, who is a significant h &K subject matter expert. He runs Teufelhund Tactical, and I think he was able to bring quite a lot of really great in-depth content to this particular book. So content-wise this starts with HK's earliest pistols, that would be the HK-4, which was essentially a modernized or a product improved version of the Mauser HSC. That's a gun that Alex Seidel was largely responsible for when he worked for Mauser, and then he just kind of iterated it a bit when uh, he joined H&K. Uh, and then the, the, the book continues through like the classics that you'd expect from H&K, things like the VP-70, the P7 uh, gas delayed pistols, the P9 roller locked pistols, all the like the cool old school non-standard, like <laughs> the non-browning tilting barrel HK pistols, and then moves into of course the more modern stuff uh, that would start with largely the USP series and all of its development. There is a whole separate chapter on the Mark 23, its development for US Special Forces, and then, then it moves into the particularly modern, like the current production civilian uh, H&K offerings, and frankly that's an area that was particularly helpful to me. I know the older stuff fairly well. I can tell you the differences between the P7 and the P7 M8 and the M10 and the M13 and what all these different things were, but when you get to like the P2000 and then the VP9 and then the P30, that's all pretty hazy to me. And they're all very well covered in here, so it's a, a particularly good, uh, good coverage of that subject as well. And you would think that with as much um, notoriety, as much recognition as H&K has, that there would be some pretty good reference books out there covering H&K's guns, at least probably their older ones. There kind of really isn't that much material out there about them. There are a couple of H&K specific books that are both very hard to get and actually don't have that much good information on them. I really kind of wish I'd had this accessible when I did some of my earlier videos on some of HK's pistols. It would have made the, the research process for those quite a lot easier. So again, like I said at the beginning, there's a lot more detailed information in this than I'm used to seeing in Vickers Guide books, which is super cool because the photography quality hasn't gone down, the, the variety of guns that are pictured in the book hasn't gone down, but at the same time the reference material quantity has gone up, which is, I think it's great. Uh, overall this is just over 400 pages, covers as I said pretty much all of the HK handguns, this being volume 1. Um, in fact if you go to Vickers, the Vickers Guide website you can see that they have volumes 2 and 3 planned, and those will cover submachine guns, PDWs, long guns um, in separate volumes, so I'm excited to see those as well. Uh, this one's pretty new on the market. I got this review copy actually several weeks ago and just haven't had a chance to uh, to dig into it on video for you guys until just now. Uh, cover price is $98, it's available from vickersguide.com. Considering the, the cost and the availability and the quality of the other literature on H&K firearms, I think it's a no-brainer if you're interested in the subject. It looks great and it'll teach you some cool things, so what more can you really ask for? Thanks!